Hey, good evening, boys and girls. My name is Ben. And I'm Andy. And we're here to sing some songs with you, so we hope that you're ready to go, because we're ready to go. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Jesus is the one who lights our way. Oh, 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 oh. He gives us hope. here for the next song. Here we go. It goes like this. This one has some actions to it. So what we're gonna go is we're gonna say, your love is so high, your love is so wide, your love is so deep, your love is so long. Think you can do that? All right, it goes like this. Your love is so high, your love is so wide, your love is so deep, your love is so long, your love is so high, your love is so wide, your love is so deep, your love is so long. One more time. It's so high, your love.
Shalom and hello, my name is Miss Zara and I'm so glad that you're joining us here today online. Now shalom is a Hebrew word that means hello and goodbye. So when I say shalom, practice by saying it back to me or to whoever's at home watching with you today. Ready? Shalom! Good. Every Wednesday night at Lent services, we've been learning about a different Jewish feast or festival. A lot of our Jewish friends would use the Hebrew language, and so that's why we've been using the word shalom. Speaking of our Jewish friends, did you know that Jesus was Jewish? And so a lot of these Jewish feasts and festivals that we are learning about and celebrating, he would actually celebrate too with his friends and family. And this week we're gonna be learning about a Jewish feast called Hanukkah. This is also sometimes called the Festival of Lights. A huge part of celebrating Hanukkah is this candle holder. It's called a menorah, and it has nine candles. There's eight candles for each of the eight days, and then there's one candle up top, and this candle is called the Shamash. Now, it's called the Shamash because that is the Hebrew word for servant, and so this candle is the servant to every other candle, and we light each of these candles to remember the eight days of Hanukkah. What's interesting about the shamash is that it's actually the tallest candle. So you would think that because this candle is taller than all the others, it's really important, and it is. But it's actually the candle that serves. You might think that serving is not a very important job, but if you think about it, without the servant candle, we wouldn't have light for all of the other candles. So I'm gonna ask you three questions. I don't want you to say your answer out loud just yet, so just think it in your head, okay? Question number one. Do you know somebody who is greater than you but actually came to serve you? Question two. Do you know somebody who brings light to your world and light to the world around you? And question three. Do you know someone who loves you so much they would do anything for you, even die for you, if that's what was necessary? All right, go ahead and share your answers at home. If you need to pause this video, you can. Now, if you said Jesus was the answer to any of these three questions, you are absolutely right. Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, but he chose to come and to serve us. And for our second question, Jesus is called the light of the world. Just like we talked about last Sunday at, Kids Faith, at Faith Kids Service, um, Jesus is the light of the world that overcomes the darkness. And for question three, Jesus loves you so much. He would do anything for you, even die for you. And he did on the cross so that you could live forever with him. So Jesus is actually our Shamash because even though he's the King of Kings, he came to serve us. In Matthew 5, Jesus says that we are called to shine his light to others. And so we have a challenge for you at home this week. Talk with your parents or your grandparents about ways that you can shine the light of Jesus to those around you. For example, I love to shine the light of Jesus by telling other people, my friends and my family and people that I meet, what he's done for me. And parents and grandparents, once you have discussed with your family ways that you can shine the light of Jesus this week, we would love for you to share your ideas on this post in the comments below. So let's go ahead and pray before we head out. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for Facebook Live and all of the things that uh, we can do to get to know you more and to spend some time worshiping you, um, especially with our families at home. Thank you that your son is the light of the world. Um, we praise you for this, and we ask that you would help us to shine your light to those around us even this week. We pray all these things in your son's holy name. Amen. Thanks for joining us, guys. We have one more song for you today. Hey, boys and girls. So we've been talking about this theme of light, and so let's close with one more song talking about learning to be the light. It goes like this. So much brighter living in your world